This is a tutorial to show the basic use of grains in Painter. The version here is actually Painter 9, but the same sort of approach can be used in the latest version of Painter, PC or Mac. Right, now, got a file open already. If you want to go to the toolbox, and then you will see current grains actually stored here. You can actually go to the menu there and open the library. Right, I'm actually not going to open them from that this point, but that's one place for opening papers. Right. I'm going to go over to the papers menu there. You actually can open that, see that via the library palettes papers section here. Well, it's open now, so we're just going to go here. Open library. So I'm going to open library. I've actually had some changes already, so it comes up with this dialog. You can ignore that depending on what you've done with the painted grains. So I'm going to load some new grains in. So I've got some grains stored on my machine. You can place grains virtually anywhere. So I'm just going to go and find my grains. Which I've got them stored in uh, PC grains grains whole selection of grains files here yeah, they're part of a, a grains collection set on graphics extras but you can use the same approach for any of the pap files they're pap files uh, on the pc anyway on the mac uh, you might not see the name um, extension so open that so the grains are actually loaded to the papers so we've now got so you can actually pull out see all the various grains that have been included in the painter so you can now access them. Right, I'm going to select a grain, it's just a basic grain here so click that one and now you can actually apply them using the pens, felt pen, whatever, as long as the most important thing is the subcategory is the grainy soft cover and all the various grainy settings That's certainly, and also the grain setting there so you can actually set the grain Increase the grain, so I can just apply the grain depending on the. So you can actually see the grain or the brush stroke coming through. And you can do this with many of the other brushes. Not all use the grains. Some use grains to greater bit of effect, like impasto, those sort of things. So you can just do that. So you can change the grain. So I'm just going to quickly select another grain, and then you can just apply, change the colour again. The brushes. You can also do various things like resizing the grain, so you can scale that out. You can also change brightness and contrast settings here. Right, okay, so you've got that, so you've got your grain. Thing. One of the best ways of using grains, other than outside of using the brush strokes, you can actually use them via various effects. So I'm just going to go here, just going to select one at this point, but maybe another tutorial will show you some of the other tools. One of the obvious ones is the apply surface texture, and that's in the effects. And go down to surface control, apply surface texture. Select that. So now you will see the grain here. You can actually change that. So you can actually change the scaling from outside of the dialog. So, so you can resize it. You can change the softness of the paper. You can also change the pinch of the depth, so you can make it really deep. More or less picture, so it just fades away. Shine. You also change the angle of the light. So you can change light direction, brightness and all those sort of things via that dialog. Right, so that's the, so I can click OK at that point, so you, it will then apply the grain. I'll say you can actually so undo that and go and select another one, just to quickly show you another grain. Again, go to the effects, control, and then surface control, apply surface texture. And you see another gain, I can change that, change, subtly change side so softness click OK at this point surface texture is applied actually you can actually use quite a, a large well you can actually have a very fairly small file size and really extend it to a really large file so 
just going to show you quickly that effect. So I'm going to increase the scale, so to say, like to nearly 400%, and then apply the effects surface control, apply surface texture. And you can actually see it, with the softness set, it actually works fairly nice. Actually, you also can change the colour. This is quite effective. So you can change the colour at this point. So you can say you want a purple colour. So you can change the purple. You can also add another light on the other side. You can actually add many lights. Um, some light colours be work better than others. So you can put a green there, maybe with a purple. So great. So click OK at this point. And you can create quite an abstract design using the paper grains. Well, that's the end of the tutorial for a very basic tutorial for painted grains. Uh, so it works for Corel 11, 10, 9, 8, many of the earlier versions as well. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial of interest and use. Uh, and come back again. Thank you much. Bye.